let's talk about this new LiDAR light module. The LiDAR light is a LiDAR module that's easy to interface with and gives you very accurate distance up to 40 meters from the module. LiDAR is a technology much like radar, except instead of using radio waves, it uses lasers to find the distance. One of the advantages of LiDAR over something like ultrasonic or short-range infrared is that it has a very long range of detection. Like I said, it's up to 40 meters. So this is good for indoor and outdoor applications where you have a long distance between you and the object that you want to detect. Another advantage of LiDAR is that you can read from it very quickly. So you can actually take a whole lot of readings at once, which means that you could do something like put this module on a turntable and spin it to create a map, sort of like the old radar screens that you see in submarine movies. Um, and you could spin that very quickly and still come up with a very high resolution uh, image of your surroundings. The nice thing about the wavelength of light that it uses is that it works outside in the sunlight really well. So you don't have to worry about taking it from an indoor application to an outdoor application and having to recalibrate and figure out how much the infrared from the sun is screwing with your measurements uh, because it has filters and optics and uh, the technology itself is inherently fairly resistant to the sun. I'm gonna put this module through its paces today by trying to use it to navigate inside this room. I've built a pretty simple demo here where I've taken the module and put it on the front of this pair of glasses, which I can't see through. I've put electrical tape on the front of them. And on the side, I have a Pro Micro, which is taking readings from the module and then relaying that information to me in the form of a tone. And that tone gets higher pitched the closer that an object is to the module. Also, if I get really close to an object, they'll alert me of that by vibrating using this lily pad vibe motor that I've taped to the back of the glasses. This could be adapted to a real assistive technology for the visually impaired to be able to navigate their surroundings, and there are some things on the market that already do this. Uh, I don't have much experience navigating without sight, so it may not go as well for me. Activating LiDAR. Commence disorientation. Test concluded. Hypothesis confirmed. <laughs>